got something really special for you tonight. I'm heading to campus with Death, that's the person who's friends with my co op, and Ari to enjoy a new Cedar Bowl tradition <laughs> of the annual, first annual lighting of the campus Christmas tree. Yay, come along with us, it'll be fun. <laughs> this is Death, and we're here on campus for the tree lighting. Let's go! Look at the tree! the music! <laughs> hey, so Ari and I have our cookie and hot chocolate, and Death is cute, but she's holding the camera right now. These versions are big fun. Here's the tree lighting to start. Yay! There we go. My name is Jonathan Lyons. I'm so glad to be here with you tonight. To celebrate this Christmas season with a brand new tradition. Yeah! Make sure that you get the full experience. If you haven't got the hot chocolate and cookies yet, be sure you do that after. Thanks to Pioneer for providing that. And if you're posting pictures, be sure to tag at Cedarville or hashtag Christmas at Cedarville to be sure that we all get to see how beautiful this tree looks in just a few minutes. Now we want to welcome the hundreds that are watching live stream right now. The Let's put our hands to this experience. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, for those of you from the community or those of you that may be streaming, just know that this is only the start of campus Christmas. We've got a great week planned for students and community alike. Oh my goodness. Anybody excited it's for okay. Christmas we, at the Wines? It's okay. We remember that. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to miss the bar? That's Thursday night. Friday you night is open no, door. No, no. <laughs> All the all the single men and all the women. All right, that's hard to make out. And then Saturday oh, wow. is, uh, is campus Christmas. We're serving breakfast at midnight. So that's for students. But Sunday, breakfast at midnight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The student life show, like pancakes. Oh, that's and you know, you never mentioned that. There's always a lot of singing. So we thought it'd be appropriate to warm up our vocal cords tonight. Anybody love some Christmas carols in the audience? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> well, while we're getting set up, while we're getting set up to sing, I want to let you know this tree is over 32 feet tall. Whoa! And weighs just under 4,000 pounds. And there are 1,000 ornaments on the tree and 15,000 lights. And those are going to be in just a few minutes. After we sing these carols, everybody put your hands together and welcome our friends, Chris and Isa. <laughs> Should I try this or no? Try what? No, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just put it on the foot ground or something. Join and knock it over. Please. Um, I'll come. I just put it under you so don't move forward. Gotcha. It turned off. But I don't want anybody else to put it on. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea. To the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was one of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. 
and an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that the, had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things pondering them in her heart. Christ, a Savior, is born. Jesus Christ is Lord and Lord of all, the greatest gift of all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. For God so loved the world that he gave. God gave. God gave us his Son. Jesus Christ, who was born a babe in Bethlehem, a babe came as a child to walk on this sod, to walk on this world, the greatest gift ever given. Jesus Christ is the greatest gift to ever receive. And tonight we celebrate Jesus. We celebrate the greatest gift of all. Amen. Amen. My name is Rick Melson. I have the privilege of serving as the Vice President for Advancement here at Cedarville University. And today is a really special day. It's Giving Tuesday all across the country. And many partners with us in ministry have come together to give to Cedarville, to give to students, to scholarships, and to buildings, and to programs, and to athletics, and academic programs. And all of the things that we do here is we stand unapologetically for the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. We are a giving people because we serve a giving God, a generous God. And many alumni and parents and friends and faculty, staff and students have given today to Cedarville on this very special Giving Tuesday. And tonight over 264 individuals have given gifts. And on this tree, all of these ornaments represent gifts that have been given. In fact, many of the ornaments have tags, they have a name on it. That's someone who's given a gift today in honor of you, in honor of students to facilitate what we do and what we continue to do here at Cedarville. A total of $1,034,000 has been given today. That's incredible. Would you just praise oh God? Oh my word, Chris, the Lord is amazing. Woo! All of those gifts and many more throughout the season and throughout the year go to allow us to continue what is happening here at Cedarville University. Over a million dollars given in one day. God is a generous God. God has done so much for us. We are so grateful and we are so thankful both to God and to the many financial partners who have come alongside us in what we do. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Tonight we're going to light a tree. For Jesus said he is the light of the world. And as we light this tree, that is a reminder that Jesus is the light of the world. And in him, there is no darkness at all. Amen? Amen. Amen. Are you ready to light a tree? Yeah. All right. My friends Jonathan and Kim are going to come up here together. And we're going to count down from 10. And we're going to light a tree tonight in honor of all that has been done. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heart. 
nature seem and heaven and heaven and nature seem. Let's give it up one more time. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Make sure you grab some hot chocolate.